Hello all, welcome back to Current Affairs Settler Series. I'm Gunnar Madhivanan from Offices IAS Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss our next Current Affairs Settler topic that is regarding gravitational waves. Friends, please watch my previous video on black hole for more understanding on this gravitational waves topic. So what is gravitational waves? See, Einstein in his theory of relativity in 1916, he predicted these gravitational waves. These gravitational waves are ripples are ripples formed in space ripples some kind of vibrations imagine you put a stone in a pond you will have wave fronts you will have wave fronts that is a ripple like that there will be ripples formed in the space that is called as gravitational waves how the ripples are formed these ripples these ripples are formed then there is some explosion or any energetic process happens in the space for example i explained in the previous video about supernova supernova is an explosion that explosion that results in formation of neutron star or black hole these neutron stars i said it will keep spinning that spinning is a movement in space supernova is an explosion in space sometimes two black holes it will come it will collide and it will form a huge acceleration in the space all this will cause ripples in space that ripples will be in the form of gravitational waves right so a ripple can create gravity that mean that that particular process can create gravitational waves the process can be explosion or movement of black holes whatever spinning of neutron star anything it will create ripples and these ripples will be moving at a speed of light will be moving at speed of light at that speed this ripples will be moving so if we are able to study these ripples so if we are able to observe and study these ripples happening in the space then we can understand the origin of that gravitational waves so how gravitational waves are formed in the space if there is some explosion if there is some acceleration if there is some movement some energetic violent process happens in the space these gravitational waves are formed so if we are able to study these gravitational waves we can study the origin of this gravitational waves the origin can be supernova the origin can be neutron star the origin can be black hole anything so by studying the gravitational waves you can study the mystery of universe itself and the presence of gravitational waves was sensed by einstein in his theory of relativity in 1916 itself however only in 2016 we were able to we were able to study the gravitational waves so in 2016 what happened an observatory in usa ligo ligo observatory in usa ligo observatory is laser interferometer gravitational wave observatory laser interferometer gravitational wave observatory this observatory observed the presence of gravitational waves it is not like a telescope i will tell you briefly about this uh, ligo experiment how it is able to detect and study gravitational waves briefly i will tell you this ligo observatory will have two arms will have two arms right these two arms are nothing but a kind of vacuum tube at the end you will have mirror you will have mirror the length of these tubes will be roughly 4 kilometers will be roughly 4 kilometers the width will be roughly 1.2 meters so here there will be a light source so a light will be allowed to travel in this direction it will be also allowed to travel in the horizontal direction one is on vertical other one is horizontal direction so these two lights at same point of time light beams will be released so what happens the light will travel it will get reflected in that mirror here also light will travel it will get reflected from the mirror both the light source will come and meet at the same point it will cancel out each other 
because light travels at 3 lakh kilometer per second it will go hit the mirror it will come back one is going in this direction another one is going in this direction both will hit it will come back this is how it happens but when there is gravitational wave when there is gravitational wave so assume that this light source is going and if there is some gravitational wave which is going to pass through this light source this light then this light is going to get deflected because gravitational wave also travel at a speed of light so something at a speed of light is going to come it is going to collide at the light which is moving in this direction so this light is going to go hit the mirror it is going to come back quickly but this one this light is going to get delayed because of the gravitational waves interaction it will come at a delay so in normal case the light one goes in the x direction one goes in the y direction both will deflect will come back at same point of time but when there is an interference of gravitational wave right these light source this light will be distracted which will be distracted because of gravitational wave so one will go back will come soon another one will go it will get delayed that delay will help us to understand the presence of gravitational waves right i'm just giving you a simple idea how ligo observatory worked with one detector we cannot confirm the presence of the gravitational waves we need at least two detectors to confirm it america has two ligo observatories right europe in italy they have an observatory called as virgo similarly in india in maharashtra in hingoli district of maharashtra we are planning to set up a similar gravitation wave observatory which will be called as indigo it is yet to come but it will be coming soon we will be having our own gravitational wave observatory right so studying this gravitational waves will help us to understand the mystery of universe will help us to understand the black hole will help us to understand the explosions happening in the universe in the space time right so in 2016 ligo observatory it detected the gravitational waves for which it was given nobel prize in 2017 so in india also soon we are going to have this observatory and we can try to unearth the mystery of the life as well as universe i hope you got some clarity on this topic so we can pause and i can go through these slides about ligo so this is how this is how the observatory will be so it will be at you know l perpendicularly positioned to vacuum tube light will be sent in two directions and it will be reflected because of the mirror at the end all right so in maharashtra we will be soon having our own ligo observatory right so here i have given a multiple choice question find out the right answer and give it in the comment section i hope the series is useful i'll see you tomorrow with another interesting topic till then bye take care